He is known for being a polymath, scientist, Anglican priest, philosopher, theologian, and historian of science. He is recognized for his wide-ranging contributions in the fields of mechanics, physics, geology, astronomy, and economics, as well as his work in poetry, theology, and sermons. His name is William Wool. In the quaint town of Cambridge, England, a brilliant mind and extraordinary polymath emerged in the 19th century. His name was William Wool, a man of many talents and accomplishments. As a young student at Trinity College, Wool's intellectual prowess shone brightly, earning him distinction in both poetry and mathematics. His insatiable curiosity and wide-ranging interests set him apart in an era of increasing specialization. Wool's contributions spanned a vast array of fields, making him a true Renaissance figure. He delved into mechanics, physics, geology, astronomy, and economics, while also pursuing his passion for poetry and theology. But it was in the realm of mathematics that Wool left an indelible mark. He introduced the groundbreaking Wool equation, a mathematical concept that defined the shape of a curve without relying on arbitrary coordinates. But Wool's impact extended far beyond his scientific achievements. He possessed a remarkable talent for wordsmithing, coining numerous terms that would become integral to the scientific lexicon. Scientist, physicist, linguistics, consilience, catastrophism, uniformitarianism, astigmatism, electrode, ion, dielectric, anode, and cathode are just a few examples of the linguistic gifts bestowed upon the scientific community by Wool. Despite his brilliance and accomplishments, Wool remained a humble and down-to-earth individual. Tragically, his life was cut short in 1866 when he met his untimely end, falling from his horse in his beloved Cambridge. However, his legacy lives on, as his contributions continue to shape the world of science and inspire generations of thinkers to explore the vast realms of knowledge. William Wool, the esteemed philosopher, was born in Lancaster to John Wool and Elizabeth Benison. His father, a master carpenter, had hoped that William would follow in his footsteps. However, William's exceptional talent in mathematics during his time at Lancaster Royal Grammar School and Heversham Grammar School led to him being awarded an exhibition at Trinity College, Cambridge in 1812. As the eldest of seven siblings, William maintained a close correspondence with his two sisters who went on to marry. Unfortunately, two of his brothers passed away in infancy, and another brother tragically died in 1812. Sadly, his mother also passed away when he was just 13 years old, and his father followed in 1816, before witnessing William's remarkable achievements. In 1841, William married Cordelia Marshall, the daughter of John Marshall. Shortly after their wedding, he was recommended to become the master of Trinity College in Cambridge, succeeding Christopher Wordsworth. However, their marital bliss was short-lived, as Cordelia passed away in 1855. Undeterred by this loss, William found love again and married Everina Francis, the widow of Sir Gilbert Affleck, 5th Baronet, in 1858. Despite their union, William and Everina did not have any children. William Wool's personal experiences of love, loss, and resilience offer valuable lessons that can be applied in our daily lives. Through his journey, we learn that even in the face of adversity, it is possible to find love and happiness again. Furthermore, his dedication to his academic pursuits despite personal hardships serves as a reminder of the importance of perseverance and determination. Wool's story teaches us that life is a journey filled with both joy and sorrow, and it is our resilience and ability to adapt that ultimately shape our destiny. As we reflect on the life of William Wool, we are reminded of his famous quote, the most important thing in life is not the triumph but the struggle. These words encapsulate the essence of his philosophy, emphasizing the significance of the journey rather than the destination. In our own lives, we can find solace in the knowledge that it is through our struggles and challenges that we grow and learn. Wool's story encourages us to embrace the ups and downs of life and find strength in the face of adversity. In 1814, William Wool, a brilliant young scholar, was awarded the prestigious Chancellor's Gold Medal for his exceptional poetry. His talents were not limited to the realm of literature, as he went on to become second wrangler in 1816, showcasing his remarkable skills in mathematics. The following year, Wool assumed the role of president of the Cambridge Union Society, further solidifying his reputation as an intellectual force to be reckoned with. These early achievements laid the foundation for a remarkable career in academia. Wool's academic journey led him to become a fellow and tutor of his college, where he would leave an indelible mark. His expertise in the field of mineralogy earned him the position of professor from 1828 to 1832, providing him with a platform to share his knowledge and passion with eager young minds. However, it was his appointment as the Knightbridge Professor of Philosophy in 1838 that truly showcased his intellectual prowess. 
During his tenure as professor of philosophy, Wool not only imparted knowledge but also shaped the curriculum of the Mathematical Tripos at Cambridge, a prestigious examination that undergraduates aspired to conquer. He advocated for the inclusion of mixed mathematics, a combination of applied mathematics, descriptive geometry, and mathematical physics, as opposed to purely abstract mathematical concepts. Wool believed that a practical understanding of mathematics, rooted in the works of great thinkers like Euclid and Newton, would prove most beneficial. In 1841, Wool's influence extended beyond the realm of academia as he succeeded Christopher Wordsworth as the master of his college. This prestigious position allowed him to guide and shape the direction of the institution, ensuring its continued excellence. Wool's commitment to intellectual rigor and his innovative approach to teaching and learning left an indelible mark on the education system. Wool's philosophy and approach to education remain relevant even in our daily lives. His emphasis on the practical application of knowledge and the importance of understanding concepts in a tangible way can help us navigate the complexities of the modern world. By embracing an intuitive understanding of various subjects and seeking connections between seemingly disparate fields, we can cultivate a well-rounded perspective and approach problems with creativity and ingenuity. William Wool's illustrious career as a scholar, professor, and academic administrator is a testament to the power of passion, dedication, and innovation in shaping our lives and society. His impact on the field of philosophy and education continues to resonate, reminding us of the importance of intellectual curiosity and the pursuit of knowledge. William Wool, the renowned philosopher, met an untimely demise in 1866 when he tragically fell from his horse. His passing left a void in the world of philosophy, but his intellectual contributions continue to shape our understanding of the world today. Wool's legacy lives on, not only through his writings but also through the impact he had on those around him. After his death, Wool was laid to rest in the chapel of Trinity College, Cambridge, a place that had been his intellectual home for many years. While his physical presence may have left this world, his ideas and teachings remain as a testament to his brilliance. Wool's wives, too, found their final resting place in Cambridge, buried together in the Mill Road Cemetery. In commemoration of Lady Affleck, Wool's second wife, a beautiful stained glass window was installed in her memory at All Saints Church in Cambridge. Crafted by the esteemed Morris and Company, the window serves as a reminder of the love and admiration Wool had for his beloved spouse. Even after his passing, Wool's influence continued to be felt. His writings, meticulously compiled by Isaac Todd Hunter, were published posthumously in two volumes. The first volume served as an index of the individuals with whom Wool corresponded, highlighting the breadth of his intellectual network. Five years later, Wool's niece by marriage, Janet Mary Douglas, released a biography that included his letters to his family, providing a deeply personal insight into his life. Today, thanks to the Internet Archive, these invaluable books are available online, allowing future generations to delve into Wool's philosophical musings and glean wisdom from his words. Wool's philosophy, rooted in reason and inquiry, continues to inspire and guide us in our daily lives. His legacy reminds us of the importance of intellectual curiosity, critical thinking, and the pursuit of knowledge. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.